As the sun rises over the Emerald Isle, we find ourselves once more in the company of Rory of Castleknock. A fierce and cunning warrior, Rory is driven by a burning ambition to carve out a legacy that will echo through the ages. In this second episode, our journey takes a daring turn. Rory, alongside his loyal followers, prepare a bold cattle raid, a vital resource that will bolster their strength and solidify their standing. But cattle raiding is only the beginning. With his eyes set on Dublin, Rory aims to establish a claim on this strategic and coveted city, a move that will elevate his power and influence. Hello everybody, this is Grazo. Welcome to episode two of Tales of Ireland. Before we begin, I just want to say thanks for your likes and support on episode one. Uh, it seems like you're really enjoying the series so far, and that makes me excited because I'm absolutely loving it. Um, what we're going to do here in episode two, based on the intro, is to do a cattle raid and also get a claim on Dublin. So we have some cash, and we're going to just start off here by fabricating that claim on Dublin, hoping to get the duchy claim. If we can, this guy's not great. Uh, so it's going to take about 19 months. Um, but we can, while we're waiting, go ahead and steal some cattle here. This guy is absolutely loaded. He has 278 pieces of gold. He is from the Port Marnock uh, family, which is really interesting because Port Marnock is a town not too far away from Malahide in real life. So that's kind of... I suppose accurate in 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 that sense uh we're going to start off just by doing a cattle raid to get some cash and we'll go from there so let's raise our armies in castle knock and let's see if we can run over to malahide here and get some uh hopefully some prisoners and some extra cattle we'll lead the army ourselves because that's what rory does this will be probably about an hour long episode um we've lots to cover We've lots to do. Oh, hang on a second here. Hang on a minute. Can we double back? It looks like we're going to lose this. Where did he get a... Where did he get 172 soldiers from? Oh, he spent his money. The dickhead hard mercenaries. And we can't... Oh, we can call in an ally. Let's absolutely do that. Cost us a little bit of prestige. But you know what, Rory? You took your eye off the ball. And the blind man had better foresight than you. Uh, he also had more cash. So that's, that's what happens when you raid posh people here that have lots of money. Uh, this could go either way. Honestly, I think they'll probably end up beating us, though, because they have more knights. Uh, let's just see. We have light footmen and pikemen. And it may go either way. Let's see. They are getting better uh, better rolls than us, so they'll probably defeat us. Yeah, it looks like they will defeat us. Darn. Where's our alloy coming from? Down here? Okay, he's on the way up. That's good. We'll eventually win this. That's fine. But uh, we'll lose some soldiers. Darn. So we're down here to like 89 soldiers or so. What's this? What's this popping up in my face? Enter seclusion. Really? Is the plague that bad? It is right beside Castle Knock, so let's enter seclusion here. Uh, I can't probably enter seclusion because I'm leading the army, right? Yeah, okay, we're going to have to wait for that. We're going to have to probably wait for that, and we could isolate our capital. We'll lose a little, little bit of legitimacy, uh, but we'll get some plague resistant, resistance. Um, so that's good, I suppose. Let's do speed five here, because I kind of want to just get that battle over and done with. We did lose 29 soldiers, but we killed 37 of their men. Let's have a look at the details here. Uh, we lost 13 of our pikemen, 6 light footmen, none of our knights, which is good, I suppose. So that's a positive. We're looking for the silver lining in the cloud, as always. Um, yeah, really surprised by the feedback on episode 1. Uh, it was actually shared in the mods official discord. So thank you to the developers and the team for doing that. Um, that was super nice. And I hope you enjoy the series. I'm absolutely loving this mod. Under the Stone Pine. Are they sent from the other world? Are they phantoms devised by corruption to ensnare me? Perhaps not. What am I to do with these damned feelings? So I can get awed by beauty for 10 years, which will give me a little bit less stress. I could lose some gold, which I really don't want to do because I'm going to eventually buy that, well, forge that claim on Dublin. Or I could get aversion to joy which would give me Marshall per stress level and a little bit of, uh, hang on, 
this will get popular opinion we're just gonna we're just gonna do so beautiful we don't want our popular opinion to go down come on let's uh let's wait for our allies to join us here and then we come over and kick their ass they may have bought some more mercenaries my poor daughter has consumption grave news reaches me my daughter and heir befail has fallen ill with consumption the future is uncertain death lingers closely be beside her bedside yet not all is lost she might survive so we're gonna say do no more than what is necessary so she has got an aggravated wound um there's a lot that i can tell you since the last episode so i was just doing a little bit more research on the mod itself and i figured out why this guy is so old uh he's part of tuta the Danon, and these guys are a different culture one of i think seven in could be wrong with seven please correct me if i am uh in the mod and these guys are kind of like magicians or wizards these guys here the formorians are almost like mythical beings they're like humanoids and these guys and these guys don't get on so that's what i've learned so far since kind of the first episode i'll fill you in on anything else that i learn if you're completely new to this uh hopefully that will help you out but absolutely give this mod a download give it a test yourself give it a spin it's been really fun so far let's see if we can take them out with 200 or so soldiers looks like we still we're still going to be defeated did he spend all of his gold he hasn't yet he hasn't just yet but he is raising some soldiers are these cows and cattle worth the law the lives of these men yes of course they are uh building construction costs minus five percent okay what's this enter seclusion we're not gonna oh we should have uh we should have probably changed your command there there but let's see we will win with the help of our allies beautiful and we have gotten some enemy combatants captured we've got fingen who is of the old gods he is a galanga like ourselves i am a, the same right yeah exactly the same i think i just let this guy out for a weak hook i think weak hooks might be useful and this lady is a partholio partholi partholian parth partholonian partholonian and uh they traveled the world for decades before settling in ireland and they are renowned for their very skilled shipwrights they are cursed with a weaker metabolism and are prone to disease that kind of makes sense because she has consumption i don't really want this lady around let's let's uh can i kill her i could kill her um but what i think i'll do is get a weak hook that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get weak hooks off people and then i might get golden obligations to help me get a little bit of cash oh no oh no our daughter's just passed away from consumption if this affects her court it could absolutely wipe out her family it could be the end of the series that would be terrible oh danu how could you do this to befail if i have sinned why did you not punish me instead she was blameless my perfect daughter life had so much more in store for her so uh that's going to cause me a little bit of stress of course just losing a daughter like that but let's have a look at our new heir we're going to play as fanula who is uh too young to really tell if she's going to be good or not uh is she my only daughter that's left no we have two more left okay i just realized that we can have concubines let's have a look at that in just a second uh farmer going away where is he going one of my counselors approaches me his face grim he explains to me that one of the free farmers of the realm has decided to leave in order to join his family in other lands usually these departures are replaced quickly with newcomers and are minor clerical uh, and are a minor clerical matter this time however it is different this particular farmer possesses a large amount of the realm's cattle yeah you're going nowhere bud no chance um no I lose 50 gold I want a tribute before he leaves I can get unliked rule or general opinion will go down but I gain dread so this guy is just up and left anyway so this is really bad uh, there's a 25% chance I get c cattle growth but I would lose 5 this is a really bad pop up I'm going to take the dread and i'm gonna cheer myself up by getting three wives ah the, the lady who has consumption could be could be an option but uh i don't think i want to invite her into our court actually maybe we'll just if we get anybody else that we can capture that 
is a better concubine, we'll, we'll sign them up. How about that? And uh, male mind has come of age. I'm proud to see my daughter is no longer a child, but as an adult with sufficient tutelage, even a child has, has displayed... Even even a child that has displayed natural inclination toward oh Jesus even a child that has displayed natural even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards careful planning such as male mind can come to truly understand its uses what did she get she, they grow up, they grow up fast what did she get let's have a look she's uh, still a decent spy master and she's betrothed to this guy who doesn't like us uh yet but when he marries her i think i should be able to demand his conversion so that's okay uh like now let's uh, why don't uh why don't i demand your conversion now hopefully you will accept and watch this opinion change this guy by the way is a melancian uh, who are these guys let's see if we can get uh let's read this doesn't really tell me anything about them yeah um Okay, this guy's just different, I suppose. Uh, we might sway this guy, but uh, right now I think we're okay. He should give us some good, strong grandkids. Um, okay, daughters died. I can claim my liege's title. Um, does he have the Duchy of Dublin? Who owns Dublin? He does have the Duchy of Dublin. I'm going to claim that one instead. And we're not endorsed by a shame. And are we swaying him? Yeah, we're trying to sway him. This is an uphill start. I'm not going to lie. Uh, okay, let's see if we can get this cattle anyway. Just to maybe maybe improve our sitch here. Okay. We won a little bit of a war there. I'm just going to go speed five so we can finish our siege. Our commander has been promoted. Gilla Comgan has been shown off a promising new recruit. And we have Donal here. And Donal... Honestly, we'll... Uh, hang on. No, this guy is our new recruit. Yeah, absolutely. Donal was serviced. 19 prowess. Fantastic. Let's get him married. Find a spouse for Donal. Let's say some of all skills. Whoops. Some of all skills. Uh, do... Does anybody have inheritable traits? You can marry this possessed lady. That'd be a fun, fun game to play. Um, I'm actually going to marry him to this lady who's fecund. That way then they have lots of kids and maybe we get lots of soldiers later on. So let's do that. Is she the same fate? Yes, yeah, she is. Perfect. Nice matchmaking skills. All right. Uh, I did adjust the audio, by the way, in episode two. So let me know if you hear an improvement. I do appreciate your feedback in the comments regarding that. We did, we got a valuable prisoner prisoner here. So before I enforce my demands, let's take 50 gold. Are you worth 50 as well? Oh, you were 10. How much gold have you got left? You see, if you didn't spend it all on mercenaries, you'd be able to buy your kids back. So let's uh, see if he pays us here. Okay, he did. We still have 100% war score. We're going to take an extra 10 gold here off him. And this is his wife as well. And his, his wife is worth 25. Okay, we are going to clean this guy out. You know what I might do? This is going to sound weird. But I might recruit his wife and uh maybe make her my concubine <laughs> should we do that would rory do that <laughs> he's arrogant uh yeah let's do it so we, we took this lady as our woman uh she's a good steward she absolutely hates us hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us in the ass and this guy i mean he did he's blind maybe he didn't see what happened uh, but he hates us now because what we've done is forced his wife to serve as a county boy, which doesn't really sound like a good thing at all. That's someone would do to you, but that's what Rory does, apparently. We got some legitimacy gained. We got some cash. Brilliant. We're going to enter seclusion now, I think. Carried, carry far away from the stink of the capital's heart late at night. I am... I and my family remain distant from the people and the realm until such of a time it is right to re-emerge. Okay, lock the door. Lock the door. With that extra gold that we have, I think it would be a good idea to invest in Castle Knock. And we could get plague resistance here and taxes. I mean, that seems good, considering that there's a big plague next door to us. So we've, oh, we've just spent all of our cash. Like an idiot. 
we're gonna have to go into, into debt to get this uh to get this claim now unless we could do another cattle raid uh probably can't call in alloys because of our prestige count okay that's fine here is a uh, claim on dublin uh is it worth going into debt for um i don't think so let's have a look like what are our claims right now before we do this let's, like, what are our claims right now we have zero claims our liege likes us if i do this he will not like us can i become independent potentially i don't uh well, hang on. The intro was all about getting the claim on Dublin, right? So we may as well. Let's see it done. Let's let's go into debt for it. Done. Okay. We're probably going to get some bad events pop up because we're in debt. Um, open this for a rundown of debt and how to get out of it. Uh, no, thanks. Okay. We are likely... Can we raid? We can't raid. Okay. I mean, we could... We can make these a little bit smaller. Save. Uh, yeah, let's do that. We're going to decrease our army count. For the moment. And we are going to pick up whole body. So Rory is going to basically live forever. No, he's not. He's just going to get a medium health boost. And a couple of, a couple of uh, years added to his life. And we're going to jump into stewardship. Because we need cash. And we're going to pick up golden obligations as our first perk. Um, monthly income plus ten percent. I mean, it's going to give us probably one extra point one extra gold per month, and that sounds pretty fantastic to me. Or we could do just domain, but I think we'll just do monthly income for now. Yeah, it gave us like point one. Uh, okay, and we are building, so in a while we will get some more cash. So for now, we're just going to do speed five here. We've got a son. We have a son. And his name is Tiprate McRory McMurdig. And uh, we are going to go... Good Galana name. Corbin. No. Um, after an ancestor. Okay, I'm going to name this guy myself. But feel free to leave your name suggestions in the comments. And let me know maybe what lifestyle you'd want this guy to focus on um for the future i say future characters i'm gonna call this guy rian right now and rian there's a reason for it rian in gaelic or in irish means little king so this is our player aaron's son hopefully a future king and we are gonna send him down marshall he's gonna be a fighter like his like his old boy like his old lad like me like rory look at this jesus let's have a look at this it's a major oh my god this is a major plague right beside us this may wipe us out if, the, if it does wipe us out i'm absolutely going to start again as a new character but um jesus christ we need to be on plague resistance folks we need to be are we on plague resistance okay we are changed no we weren't change this to plague resistance immediately uh this is going to be rough this could take out most of our court we're nearly out well it's gonna be a while until we're out of debt too we're just gonna let time go boy here we are now called to war let's take that there's a chance we can get some prisoners so who are you fighting here you're fighting the duchy of arclo retuit more nyanza of the ardgale family who is a fomorian Nuanza is a Fomorian. Fomorians are the most ancient people of Ireland and are char characterized by the brutality of their rituals and beliefs. So these are kind of like humanoids. Um, and uh, I think it sounds like a beautiful day to go to battle. Let's absolutely join this guy. And let's get our marshal to organize the army so we're not leaking gold. We're leaking a little bit of gold. Um, so let's head down to Newcastle here to link up with our alloy. And help him out. He did help us out. So. Don't know whether he needs us. But if I can get down here and get a capture. Or. 
Okay, okay. What have you got? Okay, I feel like we need to go around this guy here. We are not going to play speed five for a fight. That is absolute lunacy. Let's go this way. Let's walk around them. We want to meet up with our ally down here and avoid this army. But the two of them are going for each other's capitals. And I don't want to sacrifice my men in the, the, the good name of this gentleman. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, mother of God. Sickness and pestilence continues its harrowing march through Castle Lock, laying low peasant and noble alike. That brutal, indiscriminate truth rarely lays itself bare until moments like these. Another one of our daughters has just passed away. Dublemna. Dublemna. You had so much to live for. More stress for Big Roar. Um, okay, we are going to hook up with some more courtiers here. Uh, this hunchback lady is looking good at the moment. Just to get the prestige. I think I think if you don't have concubines, you get a prestige debuff. That's that's absolute. Oh, we got a we got a good harvest. Cattle increases by five, or we could gain two. We're gonna take this one because it will get us out of debt. Beautiful. Okay, you get over here now and help these guys raid. Okay, fantastic. And we've had another child. My daughter has given birth to a son. So this is my grandson here. And this is going to be... Uh, let's go with Kian. So we got Rian and Kian. And uh, this guy is also... I mean, we need fighters. But this guy is going to be a diplomat. Whoops. A diplomat. Because he has a keen understanding of politics. Sorry, terrible. I'll stop making those type of jokes. Jesus Christ. Anyways. Or if you want more stupid jokes, just write more jokes in capital letters in the comments. And I'll certainly I'll certainly deliver. Emerge from seclusion? Not yet. This plague is awful. Unless it's... Hang on. Is the plague... Is the plague gone? The plague might be gone. Let's see if we can win this war. Uh, I would like to raid this guy's capital. See if we can get uh, some captives. He's gone up here to fight him. And... Okay, 61%. Can we get a ca his capital before he lands on us? Is that a thing? Freeman's fortune. In... Uh, Intratalk, a free tenant renting some of the land in Castle Knock, has pulled in an exceptional harvest. Okay, he wishes to use some of the profits to purchase a piece of land that he can build upon so his success uh, can grow more crops next year. Okay, so who is this guy? He is a fantastic steward. Um, I'm going to get him to become my steward. That's what I'm going to do. He doesn't really like us, but I feel like he'll like us when we hire him for the court. Maybe not. Uh, does he hate us? What's the deal here? Unliked ruler. Tribal unity. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's get you a spouse. And, yeah, I suppose for Cullend. Marry this lady. That's good. You work on domestic affairs. Direct vassal opinion. And I'm going to sway this guy. Because it would be nice to have him on our side. 24 is a really good steward skill. Just want to make sure he is not... What's his name? In, 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 in talk. I want to make sure like he's not listed here. We're going to forbid this guy from fighting. <coughs> okay. Can we take this Arklow? Can we take Arklow before they land on us? It looks like we, we have advantage here. Okay, we won. We won. Hang on. Valuable prisoner captured. I got the prisoner. Which means that I can get a hook on him. Uh, I don't really know about that. Um, I could just release him for 20 legitimacy. He doesn't have gold. Or I could kill him. Um, I, he, I can't demand conversion from a landed ruler. But I could get a weak hook. I mean, he's, he is a ruler. So he will have money. So having a hook on him, I think, is, is good. Let's do that. And let's siege down the rest of his uh, his territory here. 
we got we need a new marshal and we have Donal here who's perfect for the role we can emerge from seclusion let's absolutely do that it's good to be back terminator style disband all so be it okay so what happened there is we just got a prestige buff cultures we don't necessarily don't necessarily need these tool tips right now we can declare some wars we could go on a cattle raid against salt but this guy has 433 soldiers why is it only saying this guy only has 56 yeah let's go cattle raiding here give me all your cattle it's right next door to us and how many, how many has he got hang on he's got 65 uh i will call in my alloy for this i think raise all armies do we not have enough did i lose my alliance what's going on here uh let's get in here to westbury far from home a stranger is brought before me he's, he's waiting outside the castle gates for a week my liege okay my name is long sock long sock you mean like pants um <laughs> long socks <laughs> trousers i'm just joking uh your highness i've traveled uh far and wide and seen many things but my family and i are wary of the road if you allow us to stay i'll be happily to share knowledge of the world with you and i'll be your loyal servant okay so we have danu here and long sock he is from a fate that we consider hostile But he's a decent fighter, but I don't think he'd like me. Um, he'll only get 20 opinion of me. I'm not going to let him in. No chance. A study in sisterhood. My consorts approach me on an afternoon stroll. We've been conferring with each other for a while now, Rory. We too can give something back to the community. And under the guidance of Dove, Cl Dove Clobig, we'd like to enroll ourselves and, other, uh, and others in the studies related to stewardship. Okay, this will be a nice addition. I can pay, no, I don't want to pay you gold. I can imprison you. I mean, you're my woman. Why would I do that? Uh, do you have any gold? No. You can lose opinion of me, that's fine. I'm okay with that. For now, that, that works. Let's see if we can uh, siege, this, siege this little town here. A brewing troublemaker. Rory has got in the trade, rowdy. Rowdy Rian, sorry Rian, not Rory, Ro Rian McRory, that's going to get very confusing real quick. Uh, Rowdy Rian, I love it, it's good for Marshall. And we got a stewardship perk and that is going to unlock golden obligations for us, so that should help with our cash flow. We've had a daughter here and we are going to call this daughter Sorsha, Sorsha McRory, okay, do we have any hooks? That we could use right now maybe we need maybe we need to blackmail no we don't maybe people just don't have cash right now that's okay we got 52 percent. we got a prisoner here and hopefully you have gold yeah we'll take the gold we'll take that and we'll head down towards your capital see if we can get some see if we can get the cattle that we came for Poisoned animals. The animals have been poisoned by dark magic or some sort of evil spirit. Most of them are sick, my lord. I fear many, many of them won't make it. After, as if this news wasn't bad enough, seeing the animals with my own eyes sends shivers down my spine. Certainly someone will, some will survive, but many will no doubt perish. Okay. Okay. We are going to do a learning challenge and we could get work too hard, moderate health penalty. Could hire a physician or a musician or both who can cure my cattle. Or you could say death comes to us all. I'm gonna just say death comes to us all. What is my cast uh, my cattle count? Five. Cattle fifteen, okay. Lucan's Lucan way nicer than Castle Lock in terms of cattle count. And that affects income quite a bit. Uh, it's just a peekaboo pop-up, so I'm going to just get tight-knit here, which gets close fam family opinion, and we're going to get some cattle here. So, enforce your demands, get our, get our cattle back, and we are going to disband all. And with that, 
I think we will disband our armies. There is another plague. Where is it based? It's up here in Slane. A, reg a very famous concert venue if ever you're in and around this region. Um, okay, so it's in Slane. We have a claim on Dublin now, right? We should do. Yeah, we got a claim. But I'm pretty sure that this guy is... I mean, I could go to war with him. He's super powerful. He has too many allies. But when he dies... When he dies, what happens to the duchy? That's going to go to my court here. Interesting. He was also my family member. Can I get you to marry... What's this? She's given great gifts with magic from the gods. Interesting. Um, she has... She's probably going to die, though. Um, let's remove this and just say alliance power. Or... Let's see, like, dynasty. You could marry my daughter, potentially. Matrilineal marriage, which means that she would drag him in. And we would have... The claim... Uh, it's kind of funky, because she's only like one, but maybe this... Who's this? Mm, I'm going to do it. Let's see if I can steal that title later on. Through being head of the family dynasty. That's what I'm going to do. Glory's widely known. Beautiful. All right. Anything else that we'd like to do in episode two? So we got to claim. We stole some cattle. I think just continuing to steal cattle is, is the way forward here. This guy only has 24 soldiers. <coughs> Sorry, man. Those cattle are mine. We're going to steal these. And then that's, it. that's where I think we'll wrap it up for episode one. Episode 2, should I say. Sorry, pardon me. The map. Okay, so this guy has been hanging around trying to get information. And I think... I mean, he's a good fighter. I, I'm going to throw him in a dungeon, right? And then I'm going to let him out. And I'm going to recruit him. And I'm going to get a weak hook on him. And we're going to set our spy master to disrupt schemes. And I'm hoping when he, when we recruit him, we got a favor hook, right? So we are going to, oh, we could demand a payment from him. He has 20 gold. Give me that. Give me that money. Uh, what we could do then, we could seduce him. That's pretty funky. Let you out of prison and jump in bed. We're going to find him a spouse. And... I mean, good prowess, right? Uh, decent traits. See if we can get her, get him into the family here. Might be a bad move, but it's kind of how I play the game. I like to take gambles. Danger's my middle name. All right, we're gonna see <laughs> siege down Malahoyd again. Poor Malahoyd's getting a, an awful beat in this this playthrough. Lovely town, lovely coastal town, and. Uh, Empty in terms of cattle nowadays, based on that. Uh, we got some prisoners here. We have Etna. And Etna here, um, I'd say we'll gain a wee cook. Let her out for a wee cook. And maybe we can get uh, another building going. Potentially we could. We could build in Lucan. And we could designate a guardian for Fanula. So let's let's designate a guardian for Fanula here. She is, she's doing pensive, so... Uh, we want someone that has decent learning and our courtier can do that and then with our extra money I mean we could upgrade our army again to what to <coughs> to the kind of strength that it once was so right now we have light foot men we have pike men why don't we get some horsemen let's do that Let's get some horsemen. And that way then our army's a bit more rounded. Uh, a bit more balanced. And that's where we're going to leave episode two. So we've we've successfully got a claim on the county of Dublin. Which is this location here. Um, it is an unpressed claim. I do need to go to war in order to, to get it. Right? I mean, hang on a second. 
I think when this guy dies, it's going to be way weaker. So let's go for Dublin in the next episode, see if we can steal that. Thank you so very much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying the playthrough here of Rory Murdeg, the uh, brave, oh sorry, wrathful, lazy, arrogant man of Castle Knock that wants to be one day king, high king of the Emerald Isle. If you enjoyed the episode, consider leaving a like. Thank you so very much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.